Have you ever wondered what it's like to survive on the icy moon of Jupiter? Well, this is the closest thing we're ever going to get to that, so <laughs> let's find out. Uh, settings, it's all defaults, turned off autosave. Uh, planets Europa, it's very cold. Low solar energy, low gravity, and decent pressure. It's all oxygen, so should be fine. No problem. Stationary difficulty. Okay. So, gonna find a good place to set up shop. Sun's rising over there. And should offset over there. Like we have this mountain right here, but it should probably be fine. This spot should be good. Right here. Be a good place for a base. Okay, so this is the layout I usually go with when I start up. Um, it's like a three by three grid for my greenhouse, and then a little porch for manufacturing and power. And I point it towards the sun so that we get plenty of sunlight to grow plants. All right, the next goal is to build power. So I'm gonna set up a generator and some control units. We also have this solar panel, so I might as well set that up. Okay, we got our generator set up, some batteries plugged in, so let's get some coal before the sun sets. I'm going to turn the jetpack stabilizers off, so it'll save some jetpack fuel. Also, I'm going to drop this solar panel. Uh, just spotted some coal just in time. Looks like our base is at 160 degrees from here. So I'll be good to know. So we can get lost. And I forgot that I have your mining belt equipped while you mine, otherwise the ore does not go into it. Okay, so did not get a whole lot of coal from that trip, but that's fine. Got a whole lot of other resources. I don't need a whole lot of power right now, so I guess while we're waiting for the sun to come up, I might make an enclosed area where I can... Um, Take off my helmet and drink water and eat. All right, and 
before I close off this space, I want to add some wiring in here so that I'll have to open it up again later when I want to um, wire up the airlock and the hydroponics bay. And before getting the uh, power set up, might as well set up some manufacturing. That way, when we burn this coal, we can use the extra power to run some machines. Okay. Now that that's running, I'm gonna smelt some copper. We need to turn these on though. <laughs> All right. Use a cake. This will finish up these doors. All right. Now that that's done, gotta. Take a break. Take a little food break. I, I light about three flares, and that's usually enough to raise the temperature. Since this is a tiny space. While I'm here, I might as well wire up the, the airlock. Okay, it's warm enough for me to open my helmet and take a drink. Alright, and I'm gonna open up this airlock to the inside, and these flares are gonna get flushed into my base. So, yeah, when you when you heat up a room, the gas in that room expands and the pressure increases. While I'm here, I'm going to just place everything where I'd like to. Put this battery charger here, gas sensor up there. Uh, I'd like to put the consoles on this side. There's an active vent that right there next to the console. And for now, that's good. All right, but since we don't have any vents working, there's no way for, I'm gonna lose a little bit of that heat, but that's okay. So my next steps will be to make a pipe bender so we can put some vents in there for that I'll need iron and gold and copper we have the copper I can start smelting the iron need 20 so I'll put half a stack in there so that when the sun rises I'll get some gold and some coal finish up the, the airlock
Okay. We made it with just 1% of our battery to spare. <laughs> but I did find a lot of gold, coal out there, so I think while that's running, I'll smelt some more copper because we'll need it for some cables later. In fact, I might as well make some of those cables. Now all we need is gold, and we can make a pipe bender. Oh crap, our tank's low, not good. Fortunately, we're pretty close to the lander, that could have been bad. But the sun's just coming up, so. No problem. All right, let's find let's find that gold. Alright, gold takes a lot of power to smelt, so I'm going to run another batch of coal. And you got to be careful picking these things up because they have a tendency to fly away and damage your suit. A little bugged out, which is really quite a shame. So it'll dump what it's melted into the lathe, and then I'm gonna start on the pipe bender. Looks like our waste tank is also getting full, so next time we take a snack break, we'll have to empty that. All right, and that's our, our pipe bender. All right, and first things we need are vents, two passive vents and one active. I'm going to go ahead and place the active vent. One of these vents faces the exterior. So we'll put it there. I wish I had brought the pipes inside outside, but that's okay. I think we have everything we need. Yeah, we have all the ingredients to finish up our airlock, so I'm going to... I just need glass sheets, which are in there. I need the advanced airlock chip, the data card, which I think is also in there some more cable.
right. So our health is getting low, so I think it's time to do to have another snack break. But before we do, I need to make sure that I have enough water. This vent goes in here. I'll try to move this air tank to the corner. I guess before we continue, I want to reorganize my inventory a bit. All right. So saved some some of that heat from before. So it's not gonna be quite as hard to get back to zero count Celsius, so wait for a bit. Let's try to finish the wiring for this airlock. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, so we couldn't finish the wiring, but we got the out exterior vent taken care of, which is good. That means we can keep cold air from coming into our base. So I'm going to set this outward, and we can turn it on manually to vent this chamber. Okay, time for breakfast. And I think we're good to go. Yeah. So again, I'm going to open towards the interior. Um, Evidently, I need to turn off the power to the door in order to open it. Okay. So it's 82 degrees, not bad. Uh, pressure is kind of high. It's okay. See, do I need anything from here? We have walls, tracker, glass. I need that. That is going to go on that console. The frames here. I'm going to put that inside this bin. And I think that's all we need for now. Close this, and we're ready to open this. Now, I need to make sure the vents are hooked up, and then all I need are few more cables and the advanced airlock controller and we're pretty close to having having a space where we can hold heat and now that I think about it I forgot to empty my waste tank that could be a problem but I'm gonna take a chance we're gonna find out wonder if when our air tank pressure no longer exceeds our waste tank pressure if that is what is going to cause problems for us. Okay, so I'm going to get that advanced airlock and labeler and hopefully 
can take care of this. I feel like we're cutting it close. Let's uh, close this. Open that, close it, and temperature is okay again. <laughs> um, yeah, not good. Okay, and what else? We just need to turn this on and program it. So, power back on, turn that on. Our exterior event, interior event, exterior door, interior door, and sensor. Pressure external is 43. Pressure internal. Let's do fifty before we open. I don't know. We can open at forty and change it later. And pull the card. I want to cycle to the interior. Oh, it's already open. Great. Okay. Yeah, let's cycle to the exterior. We have our full, fully functioning airlock. So excited. Okay. I'm going to throw a little bit more coal in here. guess our next step would be to start growing in there but we before we do that we need to heat that room so I guess our next step is to light a bunch of flares in there um, but before we do that we want to vent some of that pressure to reduce the amount of air that we need to heat up So how are we doing otherwise? Decent amount of power. Decent health and food. I think we're ready. We're ready to do this. Okay. 70 kPa is in here at negative 72, so I'm going to cycle and then cancel depressurize and that will just vent one room, one room, one space full of air. So then cycle to the interior. What's our pressure now? Okay, down to 60. Let's cycle one more time. Cancel depressurize. Okay, vent, that's good. And cycle to the interior. Five. Let's do one more vent. Okay, 
some depressurize. Then cycle to the interior. Okay. 45. That's fine. So now let's light her up. <laughs> open up the atmosphere the tablet and see what our atmosphere looks like we got a little bit of pollutant in here i don't like that that must have been from welding um what else a little bit of carbon dioxide not bad a little bit of n2 Yeah, not bad. All right. I think I will vent one more time. Trying to go for 50 kPa. Um, then again, maybe having a little more pressure in here is fine. It might take a little longer to heat up, but it will also be more stable with more material. So maybe the extra stability in temperature is worth it. I guess, since I'm waiting, I'm actually gonna clear off this ground that's poking through the, the floor. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't vent that extra pressure because our temperature is getting into a good range with just those few flares that we popped. So overall, I'd say it's a success. We have a functioning airlock and a green room, a uh, greenhouse. So. Yeah, I guess the next step is to get some plants in there. I'm going to pack up this locker so it doesn't blow away in the wind. The water can, hydroponics. Take this beacon because it has a battery in it. Same with this radar. And uh, I guess after that, I'll take potatoes. All right. Now let's set up the hydroponics. It needs a water can. It's 48 degrees in here. That is pretty hot. So let's put one potato down, see how it's doing. It's barely growing. Okay. Might wait till sunlight, see how that changes. I think it's fine though. Yeah, that's all right. I'm going to refill my oxygen tank. How is the temperature in this thing? It is slowly warming up. It's almost, almost at zero C, that's good. We don't want cold oxygen. I think this room is going to cool down a bit and then 
these plants will grow a little better once the temperature gets into a better range. So looks like I need to get more water. That's okay. And low on power again. I'm gonna throw all these water bottles into my inventory and the tables, the lockers, the microwave. But anyway, I think that's enough for now. We have plants growing and stable atmosphere. Things are looking good. I think uh, we got it sorted. We just need, I think the next few steps are going to be being able to cook the potatoes that we're growing, um, being able to create water, and pulling oxygen out of the air and warming it up. And think those are like the next big things and then after that we'll want to get power sorted we'll want to get a bigger battery we'll want to get potentially a windmill but yeah i think that's going to be it